Hello Falcons, it's Miss Sapika. I'm here with our story for today. Um, Wednesday, uh, April 1st, first day of April, April Fools. I don't have any funny jokes to play on you, otherwise I, I don't know, I'm not very clever. Are you guys playing jokes on your friends today? Or on your family? I'm so curious, let me know if you are. I wanna know what you're doing. Um, okay, so our book today in our series that we started yesterday is called I Am Love. My allergies are kind of acting up a little bit because I'm inside for so long, so I apologize for my sniffles. All right, I am love. Let's get to it, huh? Our dedication. When I see someone going through a storm, of hurt and unfairness, of anger and sadness, when the sun disappears and the skies grow dark. And I see there is fear. I ask myself, what can I do to help let the light back in? I put my hands on my heart and listen, and that is where I find the answer. I have compassion. I act with tenderness. I am love. I can listen and not say a word. I can be there. Love is being present. I can hug and hold and say everything will be all right. Love is comfort. I can speak softly and choose my words and actions carefully. Love is gentle. I can give thanks for all I have and am able to share. Love is gratitude. I can keep my mind and body safe and healthy. Love is taking care of me. Just sticking together. I can express what's important to me. Love is creative. I can know that no one is perfect. Love is understanding. I can do my best to make things better when something is wrong. Love is effort. I can celebrate those I've loved before. Love is remembering. I can find goodness in a kind word, a helping hand, or a shared smile. Love is tiny gestures. I can breathe in the air that the whole world shares and know all creatures are made from the very same stardust. Love is connection. When the clouds roll in for others and for me, I know now there is something I can do. I can let my heart lead the way. I am love. You are love. We are love. And with love, we will weather the storm and light up the sky together.
or some yoga poses that we saw in the book. The end. I am love. So, something for you guys to talk about with your family, if you're watching this over the breakfast table or something, what are other things that you can do to show people that you love them? Or what, what does love mean to you? So we were given a bunch of examples in our book. I'm curious what other examples you guys have. Okay, I hope everybody enjoyed that. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow.